Hey folks, it's Justin at Metcalf Mills bringing you Fun Fact Friday because this day and time, facts are hard to come by. Today we got a good one and we got a fun one. We're going to be showing you how a hand corn sheller works. We're going to be shelling some uh, seed corn that I'm saving and show you how this corn sheller works. So I hope you enjoy it. Folks, what I've got here is this old box. It belonged to my grandpa, and now it belongs to my dad, and we use it to shell corn here at the house if we're just shelling a small amount. Now, this sheller has been on this box all my life. I shelled corn with this when I was just a pup, just barely big enough to walk. <clears throat> this sheller's been on there, and I put this sheller on additional. I found this thing, and what's neat about it, if you want to look right here, you can see that this sheller has a a cone shaped thing right here that's called a nubber now folks to show you how this nubber works if you've got an ear of corn a lot of times there'll be some bad grains on the end and this is old corn it's already had a little bit of weevil damage to it but i'm just going to use it to show you these bad grains on the end right here you don't want that in your uh what you're what you're shelling off the meal in the corn meal or grits you want i always keep my corn meal and grits clean i don't want one bad grain in there and then on the other end <clears throat> if you was if you was wanting to just use this ear for seed then you want all your seed corn about the same size so it'll go through your planter uh you know the same and work the same so you want to usually get the grains on the end that are usually a different shape and size see how that's kind of different than all the rest of the corn on the ear and then on this end, the same thing. They're different sizes. So what you would do, this is a dual purpose thing. You can clean off the bad grains if you're shelling your corn to be milled. Or you can clean off the end grains that are a different size than the rest of it. So it's kind of a dual purpose uh, attachment on this corn sheller. But I'll show you first how that works. Just take your ear of corn, start cranking the handle. Just stick it right in there just like that. And it'll clean that ear back as far as you want to go up to about two inches. You can not push it so hard and just get the end or ever how much you want to do. But you can see where these grains change shape right here. If you want to clean those off, you just go up to as far as you want to go. Then you got a more uniform uh, grain size for, for running through your planter. Or cleaning off, like I say, getting the bad grains off the ends. So you can now shell this and use it for milling. But that's how that part works. Now up on the main sheller part, it's got a plate. If you can look down in here and see it, it's got a plate down there with teeth on it. It may be too dark, but yeah, maybe you can see that plate. As that turns, it shells the grains off the ear and you get the cob going down towards the bottom side. And once it's all shelled off, that will catch the cob and it will eject it out back up here. So you put a cob of corn in and the empty cob comes out down here. So how this sheller part works, you put your ear of corn up here in the top and it goes down and when it gets all shelled off, the cob will carry back up and eject out right here and you can grab it and throw it in a bucket or whatever. But I'll show you how this thing works. You put your ear of corn up here. Just like that, and the cob comes back out right here, just like that. So you put your ear of corn up here, loosen this up a little bit. You can also, this wing nut right here, it's got a spring, and what happens, this part hinges out. So if you've got bigger ears of corn, you can loosen this up, and it'll go through better. If you've got a more smaller ear of corn, a different variety that's smaller, you tighten that up for the different cob sizes and ear sizes. The cob comes right back out. That's how it works. Let's see here, there's a pretty good one. The feed itself, once you get it started, and it'll, it'll kill the corn off to its own speed. That's how it works. One on the other end operates the same way, same principle, it just don't have the nubber. 
Well, folks, that's it for today's Fun Fact Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you enjoyed seeing these old corn shellers work. If you need one of these, you can usually pick them up around flea markets or places like that. They usually have stuff like this going on. So, for sale and whatnot. But if you have a hard time finding one, holler at me and I can, maybe if I run across one, I'll keep you in mind. This is Justin at Metcalf Mills. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you will. And I look forward to seeing you next time. <clears throat>